Hey everyone, and welcome to Satisfactory News. In today's video, I'm going to super quickly go over what's new in Update 7, which came out on the experimental branch of the game today. This is mostly going to be a repeat of the patch notes, while showing what these features look like in-game. So if you've already gone through the patch notes and played the game, you're not going to find much new here. But for everyone else, let's get into it. The main part of this update, of course, is the Blueprints Designer. After saying that blueprints wouldn't be added to the game, the developers found a way to make it work, giving us a 32 meter cube to create blueprints in. Coffee Stain Studios put out a video on their channel that went into detail about how to use the designer, so I'm not going to go into it here. Suffice to say that you can create designs on this machine and save them so you can build them later anywhere in your world. I'm also going to point you toward a video that popped into my suggested feed from a satisfactory YouTuber called Dr. Loot Crate, who made a great video about some of their blueprint ideas that you can copy for maximum efficiency. To unlock blueprints, you'll need to be at least on tier 4 and unlock the milestone in the hub. If you're progressing through the game normally, this means you'll be able to unlock blueprints at the same time as advanced steel production and Mark III belts. As a final note, Coffee Stain Studios said that blueprints are likely to be pretty buggy in multiplayer, even more buggy than multiplayer normally is. Peaceful mode is now in the game, with multiple options for how hostile creatures interact with players. In addition to the default behavior, you can set creatures to retaliation mode, where they will only attack you if you attack them first. This goes for all creatures, so entire groups of creatures won't attack you if you only attack one of them. Passive mode means creatures will never attack you, even when you attack them first. You can find the creature behavior settings in the advanced game settings menu. Overclocking has been changed slightly after a lot of conversations about it. The exponential power cost has changed, and it's been lowered. I'll put up a side-by-side -side of a constructor being overclocked up here on the screen so you can see exactly what the numbers are. Basically though, this means that overclocking is less power intense than it was before, and that underclocking does not save as much power as it used to. Overall though, this is good news for overclockers. Power generators now clock in a linear fashion, meaning their overclocked percentage matches their output. So for example, a coal generator overclocked to 200% will now actually produce 150 megawatts, that's double of 75, instead of the weird 127.8 that they did before. This is also a big win for overclockers. Another exciting addition is conveyor ceiling mounts, which finally let you mount conveyor poles and pipe poles to the bottom of foundations. The conveyor pole will also change automatically depending on if it's being aimed at a floor, a wall, or a ceiling with the build gun. You will need to buy ceiling mounts from the awesome shop, and it's located in the management category. There's a small zipline update. While riding a zipline, you can now hold the sprint button to zipline even faster. This should really help you get around pretty quickly if you already like using the zipline feature. Alien DNA capsules can now be sunk in the awesome sink, and they have their own tracking system. So starting to sink these, even if you already have a lot of tickets, won't feel too bad. The water requirement for nuclear plants has been adjusted down to 240 water per minute by default, which means that when fully overclocked, nuclear plants will only require 600 water, instead of the former amount, which could not fit in a single pipe, making fully overclocked nuclear plants useless. There are a couple more tiny fixes, optimizations, and features in this update, and you can read the full patch notes on the Satisfactory subreddit on reddit.com slash r slash satisfactory game. Let me know in the comments which features you're most excited about, and I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to back up those save files.